Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating history of 10 countries that no longer exist. These nations, once vibrant and alive with their own unique cultures, have been lost to the sands of time. Join me as we unearth their legacies and explore the circumstances that led to their disappearance. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content. Our journey begins in Southeast Asia, on a peninsula bathed in tropical sun and the scent of spice-laden breezes. This was Malaya, a land of ancient kingdoms and bustling trading ports. For centuries, Malaya thrived as a crossroads of cultures, its fate interwoven with powerful empires. By the mid-20th century, Malaya found itself under British rule, a consequence of colonialism. In 1957, Malaya declared its independence from the British Empire, a pivotal moment in its history. However, the story of Malaya doesn't end there. A complex interplay of political and social forces led to the separation of Singapore from Malaya in 1965. This event marked the birth of two distinct nations, each charting its own course. Today, the legacy of Malaya lives on in the vibrant tapestry of Malaysia and Singapore. We turn our attention now to the African continent, to a landlocked nation known as Rhodesia. This country, named after the British mining magnate Cecil Rhodes, occupied the lands that now constitute Zimbabwe. Rhodesia's story is one of colonial ambition, racial tensions, and a struggle for self-determination. The white minority government of Rhodesia declared unilateral independence from Britain in 1965. This act sparked international condemnation and led to years of economic sanctions and political isolation. A protracted and bloody civil war ensued, pitting the ruling white minority against the black majority. In 1980, after years of struggle and bloodshed, Zimbabwe gained its independence. The transition was not without its challenges, but it marked a new chapter in the history of this resilient nation. Our journey takes us now to the heart of Europe, to the tumultuous period following the Second World War. Germany, once a formidable power, lay in ruins, its landscape scarred by conflict. From the ashes of defeat rose two German states, East Germany and West Germany. Divided by ideology and the Iron Curtain of the Cold War, these two nations represented opposing sides in a global power struggle. West Germany, aligned with the capitalist West, experienced an economic miracle, transforming itself into a powerhouse of industry and innovation. However, the shadow of the Berlin Wall loomed large, separating families and shattering dreams. West Germany played a pivotal role on the world stage during the latter half of the 20th century. While West Germany flourished under a democratic system, its eastern counterpart became a satellite state of the Soviet Union. East Germany, formerly known as the German Democratic Republic, found itself on the other side of the Iron Curtain. Life in East Germany was vastly different from that of its western neighbour. A centrally planned economy dictated the pace of life and individual freedoms were severely curtailed under the watchful eye of the Stasi. Despite the restrictions, the people of East Germany retained their cultural identity and a yearning for a unified Germany. The fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 marked a turning point in the history of East Germany. In 1990, the two German states were reunified, marking the end of an era and the beginning of a new chapter in German history. Our journey now takes us to Southeast Asia, to a nation embroiled in one of the most tumultuous conflicts of the 20th century, the Vietnam War. South Vietnam, a country forged in the fires of decolonization, found itself at the center of a global power struggle. Following the partition of Vietnam in 1954, South Vietnam, supported by the United States, became a bulwark against the spread of communism. The Vietnam War, a protracted and bloody conflict, left an indelible mark on the Vietnamese people and the global psyche. Despite the immense sacrifices made by South Vietnamese and American soldiers, the tide of the war eventually turned in favor of the North Vietnamese. The fall of Saigon in 1975 marked the end of South Vietnam and the reunification of the country under communist rule. The legacy of South Vietnam serves as a poignant reminder of the human cost of conflict 
and the enduring consequences of Cold War geopolitics. We journey back in time now to an ancient land steeped in history and legend Persia. This vast empire, known for its opulence, military might, and contributions to art and literature, left an indelible mark on the world. From the shores of the Mediterranean to the borders of India, the Persian Empire held sway for centuries. Ruled by emperors such as Cyrus the Great and Darius I, Persia's influence extended far and wide. The Persian Empire's legacy is etched in stone, literally, in the ruins of Persepolis, its magnificent capital. The conquest of Alexander the Great in the 4th century BC marked the beginning of its decline. Though the Persian Empire may have vanished from the maps, its cultural and historical legacy lives on in modern-day Iran. Our journey takes us next to Southeast Asia, to a land known for its golden temples, lush landscapes and rich cultural heritage, Siam. This ancient kingdom, now known as Thailand, boasts a history as captivating as its natural beauty. Unlike many of its neighbours, Siam managed to avoid direct colonisation by European powers. The name Siam evokes images of exoticism and wonder, a land of elephants, intricate temples and a way of life seemingly untouched by the modern world. In 1939, Siam underwent a significant transformation, shedding its ancient name and adopting the name Thailand. This change marked a new chapter in the nation's history. Today, Thailand stands as a testament to the enduring power of culture and the ability to adapt to changing times. Our journey takes us now to the largest country on Earth, a nation that spanned 11 time zones, the Soviet Union. Born out of the ashes of the Russian Empire, the Soviet Union rose to become one of the most powerful nations in human history. Forged in the fires of revolution and shaped by the ideology of communism, the Soviet Union left an indelible mark on the 20th century. From the space race to the arms race, the Soviet Union challenged the West on a global stage. However, the Soviet Union, despite its outward strength, was plagued by internal contradictions. In 1991, after a tumultuous period of reforms and upheaval, the Soviet Union dissolved, marking the end of an era. Fifteen new nations emerged from its ashes, each charting its own course in a world forever changed by the Soviet experiment. Our journey takes us now to the heart of Europe, to a nation that experienced both the joys of liberation and the pangs of separation, Czechoslovakia. Born out of the ashes of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, Czechoslovakia emerged as a beacon of democracy and cultural vibrancy. Home to a diverse population of Czechs, Slovaks and other ethnic groups, Czechoslovakia navigated the complexities of interwar Europe with a spirit of unity. However, the shadow of totalitarian aggression loomed large. The Munich Agreement of 1938 led to the annexation of Czechoslovakia's borderlands by Nazi Germany. Following the war, Czechoslovakia fell under the sway of the Soviet Union, becoming part of the Eastern Bloc. In 1989, the Velvet Revolution swept away communist rule in Czechoslovakia. In 1993, Czechoslovakia peacefully dissolved, splitting into the Czech Republic and Slovakia. The countries we've explored today may be gone, but their stories serve as a powerful reminder of the ever-changing nature of our world. Borders may shift, names may change, but the human stories that unfolded within those vanished borders continue to resonate. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more fascinating content. See you next time.